Hi, and welcome to another Type of Light screencast from Winans Creative. Uh, today we're going to talk about something fairly straightforward and basic within Type of Light, but it's usually the first place that uh, most of my clients start out with, wanting to just basically edit some text or add a picture onto their website. Um, this is done using the text content element on the back end of Type of Light. Uh, if you go th into your articles, navigate to your page article here and edit that, uh, you can see we have a text uh, content element here that's being used to display on this page. Go in and edit that. The element type is text. This is the default element type within uh, Typo Lite. And you can see we have two fields uh, here to fill out. Uh, we have our headline with uh, that reflects our headline on the front end here. Uh, along with some H tags. We're going to define this one as an H1 tag uh, in different uh, header styles essentially. Um, and then we have our text editor down here. This is the tiny MCE text editor uh, that Typo Lite uses. Um, it's, uh, a lot of documentation is available for it online, but we're just going to go through some of the basics uh, for you here. Um, so you can see, let's say I wanted to edit some text in this first paragraph. You can see it's easy enough to go in and edit this here. Here is my new text exclamation point. Uh, and it basically it's as easy as that when you save it here it's reflected on the front end. Uh, here is my new text. Um, things like hyperlinks. Uh, you can see that when you highlight a block of text here you can see two uh, items uh, are available to you essentially in the editor. Insert and edit link and unlink. Uh, you can add a link and choose from different internal pages on your Type of Light website. Uh, you can uh, also choose from different files that are available on your Type of Light web server in your uh, TL files folder. Uh, or you can just paste in a regular link URL uh, from anywhere on the web. Uh, another feature that it, uh, if you forget the HTTP, uh, for instance, if I typed in www.google.com, Try and tab away or save that, uh, and it asks you to add the if you want to automatically add the HTTP prefix here, and you can click OK. Uh, same thing with email addresses, uh, me at me.com. Uh, mail to is the default link here, and you can see Tiny MCE asks you to add that as well. Um, so you can also have the option for some light box features here as well. Let's say we wanted to uh, link to an image here. Um, do, 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 find a good image to select there. Uh, we want a light box single element uh, to be able to pop up uh, when somebody clicks on that. Uh, you can see target also as well. You have choose option to open link in a new window and set your own class if you have some CSS styles that you want to be applied to this link as well. Uh, let's insert that. You can see it shows as a hyperlink. And when we save and refresh on the front end, Here's the text, and it opens the logo file that I picked out uh, as a lightbox pop-up element there as well. Um, so easy enough to uh, unlink this as well. You can select all the text. Usually what I do, though, uh, to make sure I'm getting the entire link, you can see that there's a thing down here in the editor called path. Uh, and this designates some HTML tags that are used, P being a paragraph and A being a image uh, or a, a link tag. Uh, I usually select that and it'll automatically make sure I'm getting all the text. Uh, sometimes you might miss a uh, space or something like that uh, so that I can, if I want to unlink it, I can do that there and make sure I'm getting it all. Um, you also have the option here to add an image. Uh, and or, or insert a, a thumbnail slash lightbox type of image. Uh, I can show you uh, basically they're pretty much the same thing. One of them allows you to open uh, an image in a media box window, kind of like what I just did. Uh, let's do that now. Um, it's a little bit more difficult to add images, uh, a single image within uh, Tiny MCE than it is to use Typo Lights Editor, and I'll show you how to do that in a second. But uh, you can see we can select the same image. Let's make a restrict it to 250 pixels wide, uh, light box single element, um, and that gets inserted in there uh, as well. So we can save that. There's our image. We can click on it and do that. But you see it's a little bit more cumbersome uh, to, to work with in, in terms of uh, in, in the tiny MCE editor here. That's why Typo Lite has a nice little checkbox down underneath here that says add an image. Um, 
you can select and browse and actually see the thumbnails of the images that you're working with. Uh, it forces you to use alt text here as well, uh, good for accessibility reasons. Same types of things. Let's restrict it to 250 pixels wide. Let's give it a margin of 25 pixels, left and bottom, and choose the option to uh, have it open in a media box window and float it to the right of our text uh, on here. And these are all just some basic image settings that you can play around with. And you can see what I've done is essentially that. I've floated it to the right of my text, given it some margins. Now when I click on it, I can view the full size image. Um, so now that I've got that, some of the other options on here, you have uh, super subscript, uh, basically just you know kind of makes it a subscript text. Um, again, if I can use the path down here, I can select the subscript and then uncheck it to get back to where I was. Uh, you have some superscript options. You have a CSS style editor. Uh, you have, uh, and you can adjust the attributes of a given block of text when you've gone in and done some inline styles. Uh, don't really recommend doing these a whole lot. Uh, it's better to control things from your style sheets rather than doing inline styles in the editor. Uh, you have a find option as well as find and replace. Uh, you have an undo. Uh, you can see here I can back out to making that uh, subscript and I can redo going back to where I was. Uh, two other options here are really handy, remove formatting and clean up messy code. Uh, this is really useful when you're dealing with some sorts of code that's uh, not really, uh, doesn't really look the way you want it. You want to kind of just get it back to the original formatting. Um, something that is a little tip uh, that you, we can do essentially with these, um, uh, the, the tiny MC editor here is add in what I call the paste from Word. And uh, you need to kind of get into the system config files here. Uh, you'll see that in our system config, I'm using just Coda as my editor here. Uh, on the web server, I have, uh, there's three files in your config, tiny flash, tiny MCE, and tiny news. And these are all related to the editor. Uh, these have just have some basic settings in here. Um, if you don't have, see them already, there's uh, some great functions on here. Paste uh, as text, paste from Word, um, uh, and select all. And I like to kind of add those in there. And you can go to the Tiny MC website. Uh, I have it bookmarked here and grab paste text, paste Word, and select all. And if you add those to your um, config file here, and I'll save that. You can see what we've done is we've added in three separate new buttons here that uh, along the bottom row that are really handy. Uh, select all, quickly selects all your text. Uh, paste from, uh, paste as text and paste from Word. Uh, really handy for cleaning up messy code from Microsoft Word because Microsoft Word likes to think that it's helping you uh, in terms of bringing over a lot of unnecessary formatting and things like that. Uh, when you click on that, it brings up a window and you paste your text into here. Uh, then it will be inserted and cleaned up on uh, the editor side of things. Um, also, if for those of you who are handy in editing HTML source, you can click on the HTML button and get the actual source code uh, from what's being edited here. Um, other functions, standard things that you might find, bold, italic, underline. Um, bullet points here as well. Uh, you can bulletize uh, and even control the indent on those. Uh, change it to a numbered list as well. Uh, block quotes. Uh, you can basically wrap all of these in a block quote. Uh, different font co text colors, uh, background colors, and things like that. Um, that's really kind of the basics of going in and editing here. Um, let's just go ahead and save that. Uh, you can see just some of the changes we've made. Um, so uh, my suggestion is that you know if you're going in and editing basic text and maybe editing an image, the text element is where it's at to do that. And I hope that gives you enough of a basic overview on it that you can get in and start editing in Typo Lite. Uh, stay tuned for more screencasts uh, very soon. Thanks very much.